Hello, follow internet. I am Numan Islam. In this video, I am going to display how can you build, deploy, and manage websites on AWS. This is CQ and Reliable Network. You can create a free tier account. After that, go to sign in. You can select a root user. After that, provide your email address from where you are create your AWS account. Remember that. Now, I am going to provide our password. This is AWS console. AWS stands for Amazon Web Services and you can search AWS service. EC2 instance. EC2 stands for Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud. It is the web service you use to create and run virtual machines in the cloud. Amazon Web Service calls these virtual machines instances. You can click here. This step-by-step -step guide will help you successfully launch a Linux virtual machine on Amazon EC2. Before create any instance, you can see this is our EC2 dashboard. Inside, you can see our running instance zero, elastic IP also zero, and these security groups allow some default port. Now I'm going to create an instance. Click instances. Now you can select your region. After that, it launch instances. You can see this pop up. Uh, say you have been opt into the new launch experience. Find out find out more about this experience or you can still return to the previous version by opting out i recommend old experience click here this is beginner friendly and you can also do it new console just i'm going ahead and search frontos enter after click aws marketplace now you can see this is display sample s6 scroll down you can see this is free tier eligible scroll down you can see this is sample s7 this is also free tier eligible now i'm going to select this ami ami stands for amazon machine image scroll down at the top bottom of the page, you can see continue button here. Click here. It will display instance wizard. Now we are going to configure. Before you can see, this is by default check t2.micro. This is free tier eligible. Top of the bottom, you can see configure instance detail. You can click here, configure instance details. We don't need to touch anything. This is gonna by default. You can see top of the bottom, you can see add storage. Click here. Now you can see this pop up or display free tier eligible customers can get up to 30 GB. So this is by default 10 GB. I'm going to put 29 GB because uh, I'm going to reserve 1 GB for further use. You can put 30 GB. Top of the bottom, you can see at tax. Click here. After that, we don't need to add any tax. You can click configure security group. Top of the bottom, you can see. Now, this is important to configure security group. You can see add role button here. You can click here. By default, it will take custom TCP. TCP stands for transmission control protocol. You know about it. Now I'm going to specify the port 9000. This is by default take port inner and source choose custom and provide this. 0.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0. 
slash zero top of the bottom right corner you can see review and launch click here now you can review your instance before launch you can see before we are select t2.micro this is by default take for twitter and security groups where and before tcp protocol 9000 port and more you can see storage where select 29 gb after that you can see top of the bottom launch button here you can click here you can get this pop up say select an exiting key pair or create a new key pair we need to create a new key pair for login with this ami it create a new key pair you can see this is display rsa algorithm and uh, this is also ed255 this algorithm for high performance laptop but uh, you can check RSA algorithm for lower configuration of laptop. This is not matter. Now you can name your key pair, what the name you want. In my case, Numan dash AWS dash E dash WP. You can see download key pair, click here. After that you can see this is download.pem format remember you can need to save this private key file because you don't have any permission to generate this private key anymore scroll down you can see launch instances top of the bottom click here now you can see launch status your instances are now launching after that scroll down top of the bottom you can see view instances button click here You can see we are created this instance, this instance ID, this instance state pending. It will take a couple of minutes. Now we are going to name our instance. Then you can see our instance state running. It will take a couple of minutes to check status. You can refresh here. It will take a couple of minutes to initializing. You can select your instance. You can refresh again and again to check it is initializing or not now you can see this is checked first that means our instance are running well click here you can see detail of this instance this is public ipv4 address and this is private ipv4 address this is instance id you can see here also down you can see elastic ip address null we need to first generate elastic ip address why we need to generate elastic ip because while you are stop your instance or start again or reboot your instance after that you can see your public ip before address will change but till your private ip address same this is the protocol of this aws for that you can initialize elastic ip address and associated with the private ipv4 address after that it will display here public ipv4 address and also you can see here this elastic ip address. now we are going to bind and create this elastic ip address you can see this is our ec2 dashboard here you can see scroll down this is inside network and security you can see elastic ip click here here you can see top of the right corner allocate elastic ip address click here now you can see public ip before address code. it will by default select amazon's full of ip before address scroll down top of the bottom you can see allocate bar to click here after that you can see this pop-up message display elastic ip address allocated successfully and you can see this is our allocated ip before address now we can name it elastic ip numanos save you can see this is this is our ip before address my public ip and you can see this associated instance id blank private ip address blank now need to time to bind with elastic ip with ec2 instance now i'm going to copy this link open a new tab paste it here go to instance 
this is our instance we have created before now click here scroll down you can see elastic ip address now and this is public ip before address generated by default remember our instance name noman os wp go to elastic ip address and check this ip and go to action click associate elastic ip address resource type by default take instance scroll down those an instance click here we are created numan os wp this is the id of our instance select that it will take private ip address go to our ec2 instance and you can see this is private ip before address copy that and paste it here after that scroll down top of the bottom you can see associate button click here it will display this pop-up message elastic ip address associated successfully now you can see before this is blank now this is bind with our ec2 instance id and this is the private key of our ec2 instance you can check it this is our private ip before address of this noman os wp instance and you can also refresh this instance after that check it now scroll down you can see this is bind with this elastic ip address we are created before and you can see this is also see here public ip before address now you can work with this public ip before address now you can stop your instance and reboot your instance and again start your instance it will take this public ip before address this is never changed this is the protocol of find this elastic ip address now go to our desktop you can download putty and install putty after install putty you can get putty generator also you don't need to download another putty generator remember we are downloaded a dot pm format open up our file manager go to downloads this is the now paste it to desktop now you can normally drag and drop inside putty generator it will display pop-up message successfully imported foreign key it okay now you can click save private key it will display this pop-up message are you sure you want to save this key yeah you can name it what the name before you provide noman dash aws e dash wp you need to name it save otherwise it will not work and you can check i put the private key file and this format dot ppk save after that you can see this is the now close this and drag it here for your understanding purpose now i'm going to open up Putty. open up browser this is our instance and this is the public ip before address copy it and paste it here inside Putty. and paste inside save sessions after that hit save button now you can hit SSH. You can see small plus gear icon. Click here and hit auth. Hit browse. Remember that we are created dot ppk key pair and name it noman dash aws dash key dot dash remember that we are created private key name noman dash aws dash key dash wp dot ppk select it and open after that go to connection select file enable tcp keep alive this is not recommended but well you are working long. 
time you can select that and open putty will give you pop-up messages you need to accept it now you can log in as username by default username santos enter You can see we are successfully open our samples. You can open sudo dash i hit enter. You can see this is provide root privilege. Now I'm going to using car to get install script and install Docker. Hit enter. It will take a couple of minutes to install Docker on your CentOS system. You need to start Docker service. Or system CTL start docker dot service now I'm going to enable docker service Follow the command, hit enter. It will create it for Docker bar. This is create portainer data. Hit enter. Now you can see this is successfully pull from Docker Hub. Now open up our browser. Copy this public IP before address. Open a new tab. Paste this public IP before address. Colon. Open 9000 port. This is a container. After that, you can 
use username for the name you want and select password confirm your password after that it create user now click docker manage the local docker environment after that you can see connect button here click here click this now you can see this is the portainer dashboard we are created now you can install and play docker container before work with docker container inside container we are going to open instead of this ip address we are going to locate here our custom domain open a new tab go to free norm or godaddy name chip follow the same i'm going to sign in go to services this is my domains After that, you can select any domain. Just go to manage domain. Go to management tools. Hit name servers. Now you can click use custom name servers. Before pointing name servers, we need to go our AWS console and go to route pipe three. Getting best mass, it will display Route 53 service. Click here. This is Route 53 dashboard. After that, go to hosted zones. We are created before this domain. Now you don't follow this, just hit create hosted zone. It will take your domain name. This is our domain name. Copy that and go to route 53 console paste it here scroll down we don't need to check anything it will by default take public hosted zone just click create hosted zone you can see nomanislam.ml was successfully created scroll down uh, you can see records this is by default provide aws now we need to create another record go to create record here record name don't touch record type it will check route traffic to an ip before address and some aws resources inside value go back our ec2 instance go to instance this is our instance and this is our public ip before address this is same i don't know why elastic ip address don't display here refresh our instance Check our instance. Scroll down. You can see this is our Elastic IP address. Copy this IP. This is same public IP before address because we are buying before. Now go back round five three dashboard and paste it inside Bellu scroll down top bottom of the corner you can see create records click here you can see this pop-up message display records for nomanislam.ml was successfully created scroll down you can see this is created type a record now we are going to create another record click create record now we are going to provide prefix dog 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 and record type chose c name and inside this value we are going to provide our domain name in my case nomanislam.ml copy this and paste it here scroll down top of the bottom you can see create records click here
scroll down. Now you can see this is created a C name type record. Now we are going to copy this name server and go to Phenom dashboard. This is use custom name servers. Paste it here. Go back to our five three console again. Copy another name server and paste it. Here, similar way, you can copy this name server, paste it here, again copy this name server, after that it changed name servers. You can see it changed save successfully. It will take a couple of minutes or hour, depend on hosting company. You can check refresh. Our domain. It will take a couple of hour into right. You can see this is work just paste copy your okay I'll giving again open a new tab this is our domain column 9000 this is container port hit enter And we are created username admin and password after that login. You can see we are same page. This is open from IP before address and this is also same place to open from our custom domain. Now you can play with Docker container. Thank you for watching this. If you have any query or anything more need to know about web development, machine learning, ethical hacking, you can contact with me or now I'm going to containers, add containers. You can name it anything. Registry Docker Hub from where we are going to pull our emails. Scroll down. Manual network publishing. Click here. We are going to specify put 80 for engineer. Scroll down. Go to restart policy. Select always. After that, go to deploy the container. Click here. It will take a couple of minutes. You can see this is successfully installed. Now we are going to check Nginx running or not. Our domain colon port 80. This I cannot be reached. Okay, now go to EC2 instance. Copy your public IP before address. Now we are going to check this work or not colon port 80. And because uh, this, is, this site can be reached because we need to go back to our 53 console and uh, okay we are going to our EC2 instance scroll down go to network and security Click security groups. Inside security groups, you can see security group ID. Go to EC2. This is our instance, no man ways WP. Instance ID this. But we need 
security group id go to instance security groups this is security group and okay you can see security group id this inside our instance you can see this name matched that means this is our instance security group we can name it humanos wp because we are create another instance we are create another security group so we don't need to find security group id whatever we can name it we can found it easily after that you can see here inbound rules click here scroll down you can see here this is ssa side protocol tcp and we are create custom tcp for put 9000 before now we are going to edit inbound rules we are going to add rule we are going to specify put 80 this is also custom and select 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot slash 0 scroll down top of the bottom you can see save rules click here now this is modifying your security groups you can see this pop-up display inbound security group rules successfully modified now we are going to finally refresh you can see this is display welcome to nginx that means we are install inside portainer this nginx and this is work well and also you can take it from your elastic ip refresh it this is also work now go to portainer dashboard and another container for our database, I'm using MariaDB. It will pull the image from Docker Hub, our image MariaDB, and we're going to specify the version 10.4.2. Inside manual network code publishing, click here. We're going to choose host. this is the port we are by default create you can choose anything but remember it will bind with cc not six it will take maria db scroll down now go to environment and environment variable my store underscore root underscore password You can choose your password. Add environment variable. MySQL database. Our database name, you can name anything. In my case, Moman DB. Go to restart policy. Check always after that deploy the container. Click here. You can see our MariaDB successfully running. Now we are going to copy this port 10,000 and go to our instance inside inbound rules scroll down you can see edit inbound rules speak here we are going to add another rule 
it will take cache from TCP. TCP stands for Transmission Control Protocol. And source this. You can save the role. Now go back container dashboard and container now we are going to install what is latest version you can see this documentation from docker it will install latest version or you can specify the version what you need now i am going to specify the port we are going to create 20000 for wordpress and it will bind with port 80 for now now go to restart policy check ROS. after that deploy the container You can see WordPress MariaDB Nginx 3 container for our WordPress web application. And this container container play with this Docker container. Container is a tool for play with docker container you can use multiple docker container now we are going to copy this 20000 port and go back ec2 security groups inside unbound rules scroll down click edit inbound rules remember one thing when you generate any port you need to specify inside here otherwise this is not displayed before you can see that error inside mdnx that rules this is also custom tcp role and we are going to provide this port we are generate for WordPress scroll down top of the bottom you can see save roles click here this is modifying you can see this pop-up display successfully modified Now you can easily see this is work or not. Colon put twenty thousand. Hit enter. You can see this is successfully work. This is go inside WordPress installation page before install WordPress we need to remove from here this port and we are going to bind this with nginx Before we are assigned port 80 for Nginx, now we are going to configure Nginx to do a reverse proxy for WordPress port 
1000 port 